podcast character designs done by Demon Artie. Be sure to follow her over on Twitter at Artie Demon. Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. Invity PCA. Native 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord. Link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. Season finale, season two, The Mandalorian, The Rescue, episode eight. And hot diggity damn, is this what this is what we want? Beginning to end, what everyone wanted, everyone loved it. I don't, I don't find a fan that didn't love it. There's, there's, there's fan service, right? Yeah. And this is, there's some fan service, but it's, it's what we want. Mm-hmm. And it gives characters their, their due. They're not just blithering old idiots that do nothing. They actually go into them freaking badasses like the way they're supposed to be. And they have no problems, no nothing. They're almost at their peak of their, yeah. at their best. Mastery. Mastery. Uh, it, it's so good. This is like, I, I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. It, it's right beautiful. up there. With Empire and Return of the Jedi. Yeah. I can say that safely. I can yeah. say that. Yeah. And Revenge of the Sith. I, st- I still like... Empire Strikes Back is still my favorite all Star Wars thing of all time. Is the Mandalorian number two? It's getting up there. It's getting up there. It's, it's getting up there quick. <laughs> Especially if you I put a compilation of like all the best moments from both uh, seasons. If you yeah. count movies and TVs together, yeah. it's, it's number two. Because I have to yeah. put it there. I love, the, I love the Clone Wars cartoon. I know that. Is this better than that? Yeah. Oh, damn. But the thing, when you're talking the best of the best, and you have to kind of think about it. Here's the thing. If you take everything objectively, it's not. But if you take everything that that, that trilogy of of a horrible garbage they gave us, and this just it, it, this is like the savior of that crap. Yep. That's why it makes it bigger. Because Rebels aren't saving anything. Yeah, that's why. <sighs> yeah, it, it, it literally... There's a juxtaposition from bad to great. We're talking pulling out of the jaws of just the depths of crap to putting it on a pedestal. How how did you how did you do that? <laughs> like, I know what they're doing. <laughs> because Dave Filoni, John Favreau, give a shit. Yeah, they really did their. Because homework. that is the secret ingredient to taking a property that's already existing, and and then adding to it is caring. And do they they care? And that's why Bill Burr was able to give such a great performance in the last episode, because he cared. He probably ran around as a little kid when he was younger, pretending to be Star Wars characters in his backyard. He cared. And oh. these characters, these people, these creators care. Man, they didn't hire actors that never seen Star Wars. <laughs> well, I've been like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no backstory to Star Wars. You gotta make things up. You know what's funny? It's someone put that meme like with that, and it shows they take Bloney's Admiral. You don't you don't take care of your art very seriously, yeah. or you don't treasure your art no. industry. No. It, <laughs> no. So no. we have this is a masterpiece. I know I'm not only being fastidious, yes, yes, but it yes. is amazing. Um, yeah, compared to what we've gotten lately, yeah. this is this is pretty dang good. I I can't even know what more adjectives. It 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 did it deserves so much. It deserves so much praise and so much. It doesn't deserve the ridicule it gets from people. I don't get it. I, I just don't. I, I, I don't hear it from it. people all the time. Oh, I don't like the Doom character. Oh, she has no oh personality. Gosh, she's awesome. not this. Every character in this episode. Is perfect. Uh-huh. Has good stories. Has good witty things to say. Good dialogue to say. It's there not, is not, not one eye roll moment. Not one. Not one. Not one in this entire one. series. We're like, oh, here we go. None so, of that. So let's jump into the episode, and it's we see the slave one shooting after some imperial transport ship thing. I'm like, oh, yep. well, dang, right into the thing. And we see, oh, it's that doctor guy. Yep. The guy who was like the clone doctor. Yep. And I'm like, oh, they found him. So I'm like, oh, they're gonna use him to get to into Moth Gideon's thing. So he's he's getting chased down. I like these two pilots. Um, they're like, oh my god, they're, they're pirates. And I was like, just doc, doctor guy, shut the hell up. We're gonna try to eat. He he shoots him down, but they gets him with ion cannon. So boom, just shuts him down. Yeah. Prepare to be boarded. And it's like, um, these guys are like, well, we're not gonna fight back because we don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> but um, once they get in there, and it's like, you see two. Mandalorians are like, we're done. Yeah, and then they get <laughs> and this, this tiny little space, yeah. we're done. And you see like the the, the freaking shock trooper, yeah. and you're like, okay, no, we're done. It's all over. It's all over. But um, we... and one of the guys is just like, oh, we're okay. We'll negotiate with the other guy. He's like, no, he's hardcore. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, I almost said like, I almost said like, I'm not with these guys. Like, you can, I, you, I'm surrendering. But he yeah. jumps up and puts the the, the scientist guy. Anyway, you got you got to like, let me go. I'm gonna kill him because he's high ranking officer. If you guys are the reason why he died, you're gonna be all this trouble and everything. Drop the gun, man. Then he starts talking 
to, to Dune. Yep. Oh, you you should never stepped off. Uh, you should have been on Alderaan when it blew up. Oh, what an asshole! Yeah. You see the tear. I guess yeah, that the means tattoos. Yeah. So, so if you have you have a tattoo, I guess of a tear, that means. Four. Oh, and it's a, it's the rebel symbol too. Yeah. And that guy saw Corey shot his partner. Yeah, because partner's like, whoa, whatever, man. I I I'm getting it. Just kills him. Kills him. Yeah. yeah. Then he starts talking to. Yeah, I was there when it happened. I was on the Death Star. Yeah, it was a then, it was a small price to pay. He's like, and then, wow. And I love how Dune even talk crap. What was it, one or two? Yeah. Uh, ah. Yeah. Which one? Oh. He's like, drop, he's like, drop that blaster. He pissing him, man. That's like, and he kept talking too. Yeah, yeah talking. all those millions of lives were practically nothing for the for the for the cost of you know for the empire for peace for peace for, for order. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy is like hardcore. hardcore. Like, oh, he believes it, Tom and ten percent. But um, and, phew, 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 gets so, him right in the face. Just and it hurts that guy's ear. But hey, he was talking major smack. He, so. he wasn't gonna let go. He no. wasn't put the gun. So down. they got the doctor guy now. I'm like, okay, so that's gonna be like their little inroad, right? Then we get the um. I always thought this was funny because on Disney Plus, all streaming services, you can skip the intro. It's like two seconds long, do, 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 and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if it's a minute long, I get it. No, but, it's like. But then the little button says skip. Just yeah, wait <laughs> for two seconds. Ah, I like I can't the intro. Wait. That's cool. So, so then we get into the episode. I'm like, okay, so they're landing on a planet. And we we see some stuff, <laughs> and we see that they land. You see a um a Mandalorian ship because yep. their wings lock upwards. Yep. I love. Star Wars ships. I think Star Wars ships are some of the most beautiful and interesting and just just cool looking spaceships. Not the most practical looking things, no. but they're cool looking. Like, they look makeshift, but it works. Yeah, it looks at that perfect junk. I look. love Star Trek ships, but those are more functional. Yeah, like yeah. like an actual military Trek vessel. Ship. These things just have their own weird quirks about them. For some reason, with me, I'm a big fan of the Naboo type. Of I like the, the, the yellow one. The yellow one. It's all silver. It has silver tips, and it just looks so clean. One of the coolest looking ships of all time has to be the New Republic dropship. Yes, the with the gunners and they had the gunners on the wings. I always thought that was such a cool looking ship. I love all the ships. You see the Shadow Ship right here? It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Yeah, I love it. I like that at Walkers. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Get, everything just has in the in, the in, the the Empire Imperial ships have their own look to them. Yeah, yeah. more boxy and, and sleek exactly. and I love the Tie Fighter look. Yeah. Okay. Just cool yeah, stuff. Cool okay. Stuff. So we're like, okay. So there, there's some Mandalorians. Oh my god, it's gonna be Bo Katan. Yeah, so we're thinking they're gonna Bo-Katan. hook up a whole Mandalorian crew. So they they're getting down at this place, and um, we <laughs> I just like we see. Mando, you see uh, Boba Fett like walking okay, through like this do. bar. Come on, guys. Come on. It's, it's like the so coolest effing thing on the cool. planet. So a Mandalorian walks into a bar. <laughs> Tell me if you've heard this one. And then they're like, okay, we need your help. And I love how Bogotan looks over at Boba Fett. And she hears his voice. She's like, oh, that's... He's not... He's then, not then, then, then here's the thing. Oh, you're not a real Mandalorian. I never claimed to be. And then, you know, I heard you're just a, you're just a, a, a clone. And then he's like, well, this is my father's armor. Oh, don't you mean your donor? Donor's armor. Yeah. Oh, it's like, damn, oh, Boca tells like a man smack to the Boba Fett, man. And then he's like, yeah, hold your tongue, princess. Yeah. Like, oh. I've, I've heard your voice pl- plenty of times because all the, yeah. I'll have this voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the last one here, too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> guys, we don't need to be fighting, but I kind of want to see, see this. this. I know. It's like, literally, you could just, you could see Mando's like, I don't care about this, guys. Just, like, we need to get on a mission. This isn't important. Because she's all talking about, like, and then, like, her, uh. Her partner person. Of course, she's going to stick up for, you know, her cruise gear. Like how he keeps calling her princess. Yeah. That's so funny. So then they get into a little scuffle. And know what I like about this fight? Boba Fett's kind of whooping her ass. Then she starts getting the best of Boba Fett. And then they get into a, uh, uh, like a tied up. Tied like up. Where they're both like you and their yeah. the flamethrowers. Then they stop. That's how you do it. One person starts winning. The other person starts winning. They start to tie. Then you end the fight. So it doesn't look like Boba Fett got his ass whooped. And it doesn't look like this girl just got her ass whooped. Exactly. And you can even say in a sense of like, okay, Boba Fett has more training, more thought process. She has youngness on her side. So she's a little more Quicker. agile. So yeah. So it's like, okay. Because she was like bounce off those legs. She grabbed his armor, then jumped off the wall and then slammed him to the ground. But he rolled right out. And he wasn't right. like, whoa, you uh, got me. Yeah. She's like on top of him like this. No, that's how Boba you do Fett. a fight, guys. That was beautiful. But then she, she's like, guys, stop. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what she even says. Like, if we didn't fight like this... Because, yeah, if you guys would have shown this backbone, we wouldn't have lost a damn planet. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And so I was like, oh. And then... Oh, uh, so so she's like, you're, you, you Moff Gideon. And they're like, we have his transport code things. We, we can get to him. She's like, you can get yes. to Moff Gideon. Okay. We can help you. Then she spills the beans. He has a weapon. I need that weapon. Yep. It's a, it's a sword that can cut through anything. And then I used to be mine. He took it. But if I can have this weapon, I can lay claim to the throne again. So that's the that's the plan. Yep, and he's like, I don't care. I'll save your stupid because like, I don't care. You can take whatever you want. I want my kid. Yeah, I don't I care about that. And at first she even goes, she goes, You're never gonna find him. And then when she told him he had the she had the corner, it's okay. Every, that's different. Yeah, that changes yeah. Everything. everything. Yeah. I do like the fact that she goes, after all this, I'm gonna ask you again, 
join me. Knight. So, which is, remember that, everyone. She's been dying to have him on the team. I would, too. I know. Mm. He's he's bad, A. He's a freaking so, bad, Yeah, he's a full-blown Mandalorian booters. And so, they decide to team up. So, like I said in the, our last review, you get a whole bunch of Mandalorians to go save a Jedi. Yep. Isn't that the craziest thing ever? And, and what else I love, too? Mandalorians have different philosophies. You have mm-hmm. Boba Fett. That is technically like a, Mandal- a no, Like a, no, a nomad. A nomad. But still can be claimed as a Mandalorian. Mandalorian by blood. Yep. Even and though it's clone blood, it's blood. It's blood. And then you have like the, the zealots and you have the, the emperor's side of like the politics side. I love it. I just love it. The diversity of it is yes. incredible. So they all team up and they're going over. So this is how the plan's going to go down. It's like Ocean's Eleven. They get the plan, the heist. So they're like, okay, these are where uh, we're going to get into the cargo area. We're going to fight our way through these different decks. And the guy's like, you don't understand. They, they have these dark troopers. And once they get out... There, it's these aren't like stormtroopers. These aren't like anything we've ever faced before. Like, oh, these are like different kind of armors. Like, it's not even armor. These are like generation three droids. Yes, the best. They're so powerful they can't have them on the whole time. Mm-hmm. So they have to like be under cold storage. So it goes, you have like a up. minute, two yeah. minutes. minutes, two minutes max to get what you're gonna get done. And I thought, is this boy lying? Yeah, we always keep thinking that. And it's just, it's I, weird. Because it he seem was to giving me. them like perfect detail, and I'm like, is he setting them up? Did Moth like tell him to like give him wrong information? Uh, but I was thinking, he, I think he does care about Grogu. I think he because does. it's a living thing, and it's yeah. an interesting, and it's a, it's a unique specimen. Yeah, Grogu is like it's very different. So here's the plan. Um, we got uh, Boba Fett's gonna run distraction. Yep. We're going to have basically her... What happened to the other guy? I guess he was just off on his he own. Maybe she had, she had an extra guy who just... Oh, hopefully he didn't die, but yeah. Who knows? We who don't knows? see him. So we have Bo-Katan, her girl, the sniper, her, and, and Dar- Dune, and Dune yeah. are going to go one way, start fighting their way through. Then Mando's going to go through the shadows and sneak his way to where Grogu is. So that's the plan. Not yeah. a bad plan. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. They still have that uh, Imperial uh, transport thingy. So I'm thinking to myself, okay... Uh, what are they going to be doing with this? Here's the here's the cool plan. This guy's going to be escaping. He's going to be in their vicinity. Oh, uh, Imperial ship, blah, blah, blah. I'm under attack. Please uh, send send rescue, send help. Open your shredder bays. And then Boba Fett has to pretend to be shooting, shooting at him. Yeah, I love hey, it. Hey, princess. Yeah, but you're going to make it good. Don't worry, I will. He's on. <laughs> I'm going to never forget it. Watch your ass and I'm going to get you. <laughs> so, do, 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 do. so it's a whole fake thing. And I really like the fact that they just like let us in. He's like, oh, uh, you know, they're, they're, because, you know, Gideon's not an idiot, right? So yeah. these things like, oh, we'll, we'll send some TIE fighters out there. They're like, ah, that's not what we wanted. We wanted to let us in. Then they're like, no, we're, we're landing. We're being attacked. I'm and not risking And he's like, no, you can't do that. Like, she just goes in. Well, goes in. And they're, they're like, holy crap, back up the other uh, TIE fighters. And they're going to just crash in. Once Boba Fett sees that they're in, he takes off. Yeah, he so, killed, he shows those tie fires in like three seconds. Oh yeah, like nothing. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now it's like how his guns can turn the other way. Yeah, yeah. he's like, okay. They're done. I was just pretending. When, now wasn't it, it awesome when the when the uh, tie fighters are taking off and it's that first person? The guy's like, I want to grab my flight stick. I'm flying. Yes, I'll Ooh, take you down, Boba Pete. Fett. Oh, uh, uh, ride coming to Disneyland, right? Yeah. Oh my God. So they land. Like, oh, okay. So like, uh, let's you know, they're opening their bay doors. They come out guns are blazing. <laughs> So, Moss like, you sons of bitches. Yep. He, he's mm-hmm. like, prepare the dark troopers. So, like, they're getting all, like, powered up and everything. So, they have to make their way pretty quick. But you have uh, a drop troop, trip trooper, a uh, freaking mercenary mega sniper lady, and two Mandalorians. Two Mandalorians. You got yourself a badass team. If that's a fire team, that, that I'd put my money on every single time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And remember, these ones they're running are just pure machines, these dark troopers. Yeah. There's no humans. They go, they have errors. Mm-hmm. These don't make mistakes. Yeah, so once these guys get out, we are if <laughs> yeah. it takes a while for them to get out. And these things are um, some cool. intimidating looking mother mofos. Yeah, I would love to see some cool cosplay out of that. It'll these guys are cool. some scary dudes. So, you know, once the the mo the, literally the smoke is still like rising from all the dead bodies. Mm-hmm. And then so Mando's making his way out and he has his freaking uh jetpack the, jet pack and, and his classic music. music. Oh, I love every time. Looks like the going into the new town. And he has his spear. His spear. Yeah. So pretty tight. So he has a blaster spear. He doesn't have his big long gun, but that's not practical inside yeah. here. So plans doing well. It's it, it, it is working out as so well. Okay, we're thinking, God, is this all a setup though? I know. Because even they say it at one point, they're like, "This is too easy." We're yeah. Why? Where we come? There's no. Where are the troops at? Where the stormtroopers? I mean, nothing. So uh, they start making their way through there, and um, uh, it's just a, from here on out, it's just like nonstop action. action. Oh, yeah. And I absolutely right. love it. Um, there was a cool little scene where they're walking across a little bridge, and there's like the, I guess there's like where the, the sh- outer, space outer spaces, space is. and it's just a shield that stops, I guess, to air. So they're walking, and um, the the two Mandalorians they they fly off the sides, and then 
So it's Cara Dune and uh, the sniper. They're getting attacked from both sides, and then they just fly over, <laughs> like, from the top. I'm like, this is so cool. It's yeah. all action. It's just freaking awesome. And then, then when they fall, one of the soldiers fell, he fell right through. Like, oh, he space. went to space. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, jeez. He's done, son. Yep. Oh. And why know something amazing? It's an all-women team. And I can love it. And you know what? And there was no F emphasis on that. Oh, since we're all women and there's no peepees, we're going to get this done perfectly. No stupid you never crap got, like you that. Never felt that. We got this, guys. No, because of who they are. It's nothing to do with their gender. <laughs> it's because they're It just so happened to be all women yeah. and nobody gave a shit. And it was absolutely fantastic because and, they were all badasses. And that's what you do. That's how you do it. And no one will ever get mad at you. No one will ever say, that's a little weird. It's perfect. They didn't yeah. bring up, oh, well, we're not going to have a guy on the team? About time. See, nothing like that. That's that would have been terrible. That oh, would have been geez. horrible. Captain, Captain Kennedy had a little twitch in her freaking panties when they didn't do something. When they had the, you had the perfect opportunity. <laughs> yeah. We're not you. <laughs> They're trying to fix Star Wars, not break it more. I made they made their way through a cargo hold. Again, beating ass. Because these are just stormtroopers. Yeah. I do like uh, Cara Dune has her heavy blaster. And it's just like, just get on the trigger, baby. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I like it even when the sniper when she fights. Okay, one move, a shot. Okay, that's what you would do. So they fall, you shoot them. You don't keep fighting them. Yeah, Yeah, like you hit a guy in his face, then boom, boom, boom. Yeah, exactly. And I love how her gun jams. It, it like jams up and she starts getting all like, Yeah, she's in the out. elevator. like, well, you have a problem with that? No, I'm fixing it. She's all hitting it. Yeah, she's all smacking her eyes up. Here's the thing. Um, you got a uh, power drive. Like if you in uh, a regular gun, there bullets. If, the, if you get a uh, like a double feed or something, you can't clean it. You just power drive that mother and just get that round. That's what down. she was kind of doing. That's kind of what she well, did. And especially with a heavy gun, like it's not just like a rifle. You have like a freaking boom. And make sure your hands not on the trigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make sure you gotta knock that bullet out. So I like how uh, with with Mando, I'm thinking, oh, I need to start moving your ass because once these things because these things are starting to get out. Yeah. Like, yeah. They're starting to. And it's like getting up to like the ninety percent. I'm like, he better get his butt moving. So. He's, he's like walking by the doors and sees that they're opening. <laughs> That's him. Yeah. He tries to do a sneak move. He's a little like, quick step. He goes step. He has that little like, because he has like the, the card thingy from that one Doctor. dude. Yeah. So it starts to shut the door. <laughs> and you see the hands grab it. Like, and it literally forces it up like that. That's how strong these damn oh, things are. Yeah. One gets out. This thing is whooping Mandalorian's ass. That's bad. He's hitting him. Boom. And he's like sliding across the ground. You never see him getting beat and, like this. And he's like punching him right in his helmet, but you just know those punches are rocking his head. Um, let me put a helmet on you and then start hitting you over the head with a baseball, baseball bat. bat. Yeah, dunk, dunk. It, yeah, sure, it's not going to crack your skull, but he must have had the world's worst effing headache. Head 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 if this was Rocket Soccer Robots, you knocked my block off. <laughs> yeah, like, man, you he, beat me. It made me feel like he's even getting a dent in that armor because that was like intense. Could you gunk, imagine? Gunk, uh, gunk, gunk. It was like he, nine hits. Yeah. Imagine if you didn't have a helmet on. Your face, oh, your head would be crushed. It would be like a it'd be pizza. Yeah, you would have hamburger face. Yeah. It'll punch through your head. So, uh, he's because he shot him with the songbirds, it kind of hurt him a little bit. Blasters seemed to do nothing. The, the flamethrower under his thing, it kind of slowed him down. Yeah, it's like, yeah. But he, so he gets him off him. He's getting thrown around and everything. And then he gets his spear out. And that was enough to kind of like pierce through him. Uh -huh. Yeah. Barely beats this guy. And the, the other ones are like breaking their way through the door. Okay, I'm fighting one, and I like barely. Live. And there's about fifty in there. Yeah, because it's a it's a, it's a platoon. Yeah. So he's able to uh, activate the, of course, the the, the, the cargo locked in and blow them out. I'm like, okay, they're gone. Thank goodness, because these things were tough to beat. But now they have like the the blueprints of these things. Get these things to the damn republic like quick. Yeah, they I know. Make their own. So he he's on his way to go save Grogu, and then of course the ladies are out there. They're shooting. They're doing anything. They're making their way to the bridge because I think that's where Moff Gideon is and we're all thinking we all stop like oh damn Gideon's gonna be with the kid yeah yeah he he's gonna be with that. the kid he's he too smart he's not stupid he's not gonna stay in the bridge yeah so he opens the door he has a dark saber right above the kid's head yeah like, oh you son of a bitch and right before seeing the, 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 the prison saying where, where, where's he at where's Moff Gideon I need him. need him where did he go and this is the scene right here where you see you know him capture Grogu yeah and so. it's and this is very interesting because I like how the Mandalorian just does everything he says. So he drops the blaster. Yep. Kick it to me. Cool. Literally, he's like, does everything he says. And he's like, just, I just want the kid. And he goes to explain, oh, this sword has power. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. Mando don't give a shit about he, that he, sword. He, doesn't care about Mandalorian. Doesn't care about any of that planet bull crap. He just wants to save his boy. And I think that's what Moth's like, last trump card was, is that like try to get them to fight themselves. And he's not going to do he's that. He's not going to do that. He's not tempted by that sword whatsoever. And he's no. like, oh, it used to be hers, but whoever has it has played like, clung to the thing. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> he's like, he tells him, keep it. Keep it. I just want the boy. And he's like, then he kind of goes through like a weird, weird. like, 
Oh, I already agreement. got the. I already got his blood. Yeah. I don't need him anymore. I don't need him anymore. So he's like, if you, you get off go. my ship. Yep. Just leave. I'm thinking. Oh my god, is Mandalorian going to abandon them? He probably. I think he would have did it. I think he would have. did it. Oh my god. So he deactivates the dark saber, and he's like, okay, he gets his, gets Grogu, and starts to walk away. And I'm like, no way, Gideon's no way. No, he's not like that. Boom, starts attacking Mando. Boom, Thank boom. God Mandalorian has good Beskar armor. Bes- Beskar armor because it would have killed his ass. Yeah. I look how sad he looks. Um, oh you know what? Maybe baby. what maybe what Mando would have done is maybe like he would have left, but then locked him in the cell. Oh, I did leave. You know. So yeah. he's yeah, he's right. taking on Mandalorian. He's smacking him around and he's blocking. And I'm thinking to myself, oh man. It's uh, it's a pretty cool fight. Yeah, he gets his um, uh, kind of like. Spear. But we were previewed to this with the Ahsoka, Ta- Ahsoka Tano yeah. did her battle with the spear with the other lady, but now it's the good guy with the spear. Yeah, but you can see it's starting to heat up. Yep, it's it can through. cut. It can get through. It. She has to keep moving. Wasn't that awesome when he was pushing him? Yes. And the, th- the thing is cutting him. Oh, don't get me started. such a cool scene. And he's fighting so hard. I thought it was going to split and he was going to fight yeah. with two. Like, boom, boom, boom. I almost feel like I should have went to the theater to see. <laughs> yes, it was like popcorn. I mean, Tell me, seriously. wasn't that a boss move when he back kicked it if the, the, the spear went yeah. over the top? Boom. Well, like, it's like, when did the Mando get bow staff skills? <laughs> they tr- they trained, trained everything. Him. They trained him in everything. Battlefield pickup. Yep. Because you never know what weapon you're going to pick up. Mm-hmm. You got to use probably, what you got to use. They probably even train him with the lightsaber, technically. I, so I, bow, I bet you even like a bow and arrow, probably. Probably, yeah, anything. He, he, he boom, knocks the dark saber out of his hand, gets him, gets him to the point. He's like, you're going to let me live? He's like, oh, this is going to be interesting. interesting. So it's like, oh, wow. So we get back to the bridge, and Bo-Katan is like, Rock, yeah, like, where's, 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 yeah. Yeah. like where's almost, yo, she's not really doing that, but like, look at her face. Yeah. She's pissed. She's yeah. pissed. This ship means nothing without that dark saber. Opens it up, and he she's Mando it. with it, and she's like, you son of a bitch. Yep. But he didn't know, though. And, but see, but then remember, though, back in the beginning of the plan, Moth Gideon is mine. And then she didn't say it, because the other girl's like, no, we need to bring him alive. He's like, I don't care what you do Because Dune's after. like, he needs to go to jail. Yeah. And he has all this see, information. See, I don't care about that. I just want this so, sword. Yep, so now we're going to see why. But if Bo-Katan would have been honest 100% with Mando, but she wasn't, he maybe things would have been a little bit different, yeah. but whatever. So he's like, yeah, here he is. Boom, throws him on the ground. You know, here's your boy. You wanted him. She's like, I didn't really want him. I wanted the dark saber. And then he's like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll take it. So, yeah, and I don't even want it. And then of course Giddy's like, <laughs> he, <laughs> he just, has that evil asshole laugh. That's I just lo- great. I love it. And he's like, you just don't take it. You can't take it. And, and he's, he's like, like what? what do you mean? He's like, oh, you have to win it in battle. It's like I guilt. I here, you beat me. And it's like that's no. It's real the story. It's the story. If it, without it, it's nothing. Or whatever. But wasn't it the same bitch that was telling Mandalorian, "Hey, you can't take your helmet out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. <laughs> but but you're she a, a tradition. You're but, a zealot. Man, 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 man. But the but she had this shows you how. Oh, she, but her tradition means tradition something, but not his. Yeah, yeah, but, but but listen though. But think about it. If if Moth Gideon lives, he's gonna tell everyone that she did not win. You're that. gonna trust this mother. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. But but yeah. But see. But then that's all they need. A little contention. A little bit. Because Mandalorian. Mandalorian are very like that yes but so I'm like oh my god are they gonna fight she almost looked like she was going but to but she's thinking about it I don't think I don't, can she beat him I think she can I think she can but, but it would be such a tragedy yes it would because he's a good man yeah and he loves his boy and that's all he wanted to do and for her to do and that I think she knows that she would feel like shit because she doesn't he doesn't care about it he really doesn't so here's here's my plan this is what I was to do hey follow me in this room they shut the doors Ooh, ah, you're beating my ass. Oh, <laughs> please spare me. Just get out of here. He beat his ass, okay? Get that's out of here. That's it. No one else has to see it. Uh, but you know that's not the way. Ooh, ah. This I know, is, exactly. This, this is not the way. Definitely. Uh, it's just, it's just, come on. But but she's thinking like, about it. She's, she's really, she, she's really, really weighing her, her things. Like, or I can kill everybody. <laughs> like, and just take it. But then they start getting some warning symbols. Like, oh, there's some, uh, there's a, Stuff approaching, and they're looking at gold. There's no life signs. Holy crap! Those things got rocket boots. Yes. I totally forgot. Oh, we totally yeah. forgot too. And like, they're, they're back. coming back. And then Gideon gets his little sarcasm. Yeah, you guys are done. You guys. Are yeah. Done. Oh, you you struggle with one. There's a whole platoon now. And they're gonna make their way up here. So this is where like we get tension. My heart's like pounding. Oh. So I'm thinking, so someone save me. Someone's gotta save them. Yeah. Because they can set up, you know, behind these things. But these they could probably take out five or six of them. Okay, there's, there's like still 25 50, more, yeah. 30 but more. Were, but they were tanking those laser blasts like nothing. Maybe the heavy blaster? Maybe the heavy blaster. I was thinking maybe the dark saber. Like, 
try to like behind the door and start cutting them up as soon as they enter. I know it would have been like right before they get here. I gotta get one step. I gotta practice my stabbing. <laughs> I, I know you're on the ship and there's tension. Maybe we should want the lights. <laughs> maybe we could have got away from them long enough. Maybe give us some time. So yeah. these homeboys are just marching yeah. away slow. Oh, this whole scene is just tension, tension, right, good, building they're, and they're building. So they're gosh, all like getting oh. ready and gut wrenching, man. Like how Dune just throws freaking getting. Yeah, shut up, you idiot. <laughs> There's a there was a blast right and now. then oh. also he puts the child down and I'm like what are you doing I, he goes I sat there like, I know Gideon he would do it just to spite that's just why to... you take that baby and we put the Grogu in another room I'm serious they're stuck on the bridge it's the safest because they have yeah. those big shutter doors but yeah. this thing's the... <sighs> they're punching through they can punch through anything slowly but surely these guys start making their way up to the bridge and they're getting ready and they're like <sighs> what are we gonna do and I like how Gideon's like almost narrating the situation oh. You'll stand. It'll be a valiant effort. Right. But everyone in this room will be dead. But me, me and the child. So I get everything I want. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I would have booted him in his damn face. <laughs> I know. I'm yeah, supposed- you're going to do it, but you ain't got no teeth now. <laughs> How about this? Boom, dude just gets I, the I back think- of her gun and hits her That's what mouth. I was thinking, dude. Dude should just go, bam. Like, okay, enough of you. Enough so- of your nonsense. So they start pounding on the oh, yeah. on the door. Boom. Boom. And I was like, oh. Gonna happen. So good. What are they gonna do? Because they really can't really lose explosives either, because no. they no. killed them too. Yeah. But I'm like, oh my god! So everyone, everyone's setting up. The door's starting to bend. Yeah. This is like their last stand. Then we see an X-wing. I, I'm like, oh my god! I said a little before this. I go, remember the Jedi they contacted? He, that's got to come into play. And then I'm like, okay, I'm trying to get Jedi's. They have X, uh, X-wings. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it? Is who, it who we think it is? Is it who we think it is? And yeah. then I like how Grogu kind of gets like a feeling. Yeah. Like, like, oh my god. We are in the presence of a true master. master. Yeah, his ears prick up like, hello. <laughs> I love how they try to contact the X-Wing. The fuck, I time for your yeah, messages. No. So we start hearing all the smashing and stuff, and they're like one blow away. They stop. Then all the... Like, says, hello. Oh, what's going on? Then we see someone disembark from the X-Wing, right. and we see like a cloak, and we see like, oh my God, oh my We're God. It's, thinking, like, okay. What Jedi, what Jedi, okay, what Jedi, what Jedi. And... We see the and it's a green lightsaber. Oh, it's a like, green holy, holy lightsaber. Fuck. Holy, is it? And, and, and even at this point, you don't get to look at his face. Like, oh my goodness, this is gonna turn against me now because they even stopped their attack because they know this guy is just this is incredible. And then and then we see that he's wearing some like type all, of black, all black. And I see like, a oh. black glove and I see a green lightsaber. I'm like, oh, it looks looks looks, looks, looks Skywalker. That's classy. And too. he is whipping some dark. It's troopers asses. This is how we wanted him last Jedi. He, we wanted this fight. I want him to show up and just beat yeah, everyone's he's, ass. He's making those dark troopers look like little droids from freaking the Star Wars episode one. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, they're no, nothing. I'm surprised. I thought I heard a Roger Roger over there. <laughs> yeah, <and stuff>. exactly. <laughs> he is force choking him. He's chucking him. Nothing. He's not even quick stepping. No. Nope. He just walks up to one of them. So during this whole battle, freaking Moff Gideon, that bastard, yep. pulls out the saber and he unloads on Bo-Katan. Yeah. Unloads on him, boom, 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 boom. and then he turns to the kid. Gonna shoot the chick, Grogu, and then just like uh, Mr. President, no, no. <laughs> he gets in front of it. Yeah, yeah, freaking Mando takes all the hits. Uh, uh, then, then, uh, uh, dude, freaking boom, uh, freaking uh, piece of shit, man. What? Well, a- I like at the beginning of it before before the the X wing hits there. She's all oh, just one X wing. That's all you need. That's, That's one X wing. Who's the person on there? That's all you need, son. And you know what's funny? It made Darth Vader's scene look almost. Remember Darth? Yeah, at the, the, at the end of freaking Rogue, Rogue, Rogue One. One, it's like that, but uh, an extended cut. Every hallway he gets into, bloom, 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 slap, bloom, 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 slap, block, 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 slap. First show, and these are the best troops they have. And he's making them look like they're little toys. And yep. then, just like Baby Grogu, I'm touching my laptop. Just like that, I'm touching the screen. <laughs> oh, sweet Baby Jesus, this is all I ever wanted. And, I love and then he turns, right when he gets in the thing and it shuts. Like, Come on, you bastards, face. you can't do this to us. Uh, but we all know it's Luke. Because I kind of already got to look at the lightsaber itself. Like, that can look like a classic green sword. Yeah, oh, lightsaber. Yeah. Then, like, all the rest of them start waking their way towards the elevator. It, it's done. It's you guys done. are done. Yeah, that force, like, crush that he does on them. Oh, my gosh, that was oh, awesome. And we get the tension again. This guy's like, oh, my God, this guy is something else. And, yeah, like, uh, I would like to think that they're, they're probably thinking, man, this, this Jedi wants to kill us all. We're all dead. Yeah. Kind of like how when Vader walked onto that ship to get Princess Leia, all those rebels were dead. They knew that we're dying today. All there was was a bunch of dead men in fear. That's all that's in this room right now. <laughs> exactly. They're machines and they can um, sense fear. To quote a certain character from a certain anime, do you androids experience fear? Yeah. Because that's what this is right here. Oh my God, I'm, I'm re-watching this. 
It's just the sickest shit ever. I love it. This is all we wanted. We talked about fan service. And then I like how he gives the last one, like, I'm going to crush this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can chop him up, but I ain't going to do that. This right here. Oh, the oh, brutal. Dude. The brutal. And this armor's super crazy strong. Oh, it doesn't matter. He straight makes, he's a, he the trash compact his anything. ass. Yep. <laughs> must have been like a, it must have been a Coca-Cola aluminum can. That's so, what he did. It makes you feel bad because you're like, oh, maybe like, you know, Mandalorians can fight Jedi. If it's a Jedi master like Luke, he could probably crush you like a can. There would yeah. be no contest. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, dang it. He could fight Jedi Knights. Yes. Yeah. But, um, he's looking at Grogu and Grogu kind of gives him a look like, yeah, this is the guy. Yeah. He's like, okay, open the doors. Like, what are you crazy? Open, open the o- doors. Open the damn doors. And was they like they all have their guns up? It's like it's fine, right? I, I know it's, it's cool because my my boy here yeah. let me know it's cool. And mm-hmm. even before the guy tried to kill himself too with his gun. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. when she knocked him yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, knocked him out. Yeah, pretty coward. So smoke clears. The green saber. De- he, he deactivates it. Oh my god! Look how cool this is. He looks this, amazing. This is what we wanted all the time. Yep. Nothing else. So. He Luke puts his head down. down. Fucking Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. God damn, that's what I Come wanted. On. That's what. And the CGI wanted. looks amazing on him. Oh, it it does. Look how it's... good he looks. Look, he homeboy didn't break a sweat. No, he won no. it. I broke a, a more of a sweat walking down the stairs making a bowl of cereal. I was more strenuous than he did, and he took it all those dark dark troopers. Effortless. Effortlessly. So Mandalorian's like, "Are you a Jedi?" And he's like, "He's like, yeah." And he's like, "Oh," and so he sees him. And like, he gives him that look, and then for Luke. Because with Yoda, yes. and it's almost like Reverse you now. can see that the, everyone has his thing, and he looks over him. Oh my God, this is making me cry. Yes. Oh. He's like, oh, beautiful. He's like, he doesn't want to go with you. And looks like he wants your permission. permission. <laughs> yeah, that was so <laughs> oh, 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 that oh, would have for me if it wasn't if it wasn't Luke, because I just it's so cool. And he's like, because he's like asking his dad for permission. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but he's in great hands, though. Oh, it's it's Luke. He's like, I feel your his attachment to you, and he needs he needs to be trained. He has amazing. Amazing power. His his talent is it needs to be trained. Because it could go in a crazy direction yeah, yeah, if it and doesn't. It, and then it means nothing without the proper training. So, you know, Mando picks up his boy and then he's gonna he's like, It's okay. You can you go, go with him. He's like, I'm giving you permission to go with him. And and he goes to touch his mask. And I, I'm already crying. He's, he's and I'm like, him. take like, his like, mask off. Take it. He, he, he time, wants to see your face. He wants to see your face. Which is very uh, symbolic of when Luke wanted to look at Darth, Darth Vader. Wanted to look at Luke. I want to see with my own eyes. Yeah, yeah. I want to see my. I want to see my father. That's okay. that's that's that's, that's what. That look. I want oh to see God, with my own it. eyes. Oh my God, I love it so much. Yeah, I love and then awesome. you know what? Because there's things more important than your traditions. Yeah. Then you just helmet off, and then he gets to see his face, and they get to actually see each other. See each other face to face. And he goes and he, he touches his, his face. face. Oh. oh my god. Oh, oh my can god. We, can we play the Disney's I'll Always Be in Your Heart? Yeah. That was awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Look at him touch his face. Oh my god, I love it so much. And look at uh, uh, Amanda's crying. crying. He's like, his eyes are watery because he loves him. Yep. He loves him as much as you can love and anything. It, it's his son. He wants to train him, but he knows he can't. Then you know it's like it's time to go. It's time to go, and it's gonna be okay. And you know, awesome. like you can see, you see, Grogu's a little sad too. But now he knows. Okay, my father said it's okay, so I know it's gonna be okay. And that's how much he trusts him. And he said, "I will find you." And then we'll see each other. We'll again. see each other. Again. So you know, in season three, they're gonna meet up again. So there you go. So Luke saw his face. Anything? You know what? He in the Mandalorian grew and he kind of grabs his leg a little bit. Oh my god, uh, man! Little dude, you break my heart. Right. Stop doing it. Uh, and then then we, then we, I forget you. Ah, shows up. See, this is the fan service that everybody Ooh, loves. loves. Yeah, this isn't stupid fan service. And we and we got a tried. cool bad a Luke, not some weird pansy thing we got. Oh, in. let me toss the saber to the side. It doesn't mean anything. This is the grand. This is Master Luke. That that we all that, that, that Luke doesn't count. This is the real Luke yes. Skywalker. And, that, <laughs> and the conversation that Grogu and R two D two have is like okay. okay what, what was that? And then like Luke kind of like smiles. Like what was that? Because like, he's talking to him. Yeah. But remember when Yoda would be mis snacking him around? He's probably thinking. <laughs> remember, boy, this is my flashlight. Maybe <laughs> give it a go with the stick. Mine, mine, he's all. <laughs> and then he kind of puts his arms out, and Luke goes to pick, pick him, him up, and they're off to train. And I love it. This is so beautiful. My God, this is beautiful. I want to see some more Luke in the season three. That would be awesome. He sees him and my God, how cool. Now, now the student has become the master. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he kind of gives him that and he tells him, may the force be with you. If, oh. To be blessed by Luke Skywalker to say, may the force be, be with you. I wish he would have said this is the way, but he doesn't. He know. doesn't. He doesn't. That would have been cool. And he watches him walk away. Hey. And um, he turns and looks back at him again and, 
Grogu kind of gives him that look, look, and the elevator shuts, and end of the series. I'm like, what the hell's at the end and, of the series? And it's not like, oh, is it going to be like a recap? Like, what they're going to be doing? No, nothing. So, so, where we stand now, Mandalorian, Mando, is the rifle thrown to Mandalorian. Mandalore. Yes. Because yep. he has the Darksaber. Yep. Now, well, Bo- he's got to he's got to give it to the prince, but it's got to be a way. He's got to find something. But Bo-Katan can challenge him, like I said, he looks. But she's gonna want a real fight, not just like, oh, I lost it. Here you go, because it has to be real. It can't be like this wishy washy. But there's got to be a rule where it can be a combat without death. Yes, it's true. It she true. can spare his life, but she's gonna want a real fight. A real fight. Yeah. So when those credits roll, I'm 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 an emotional wreck. <laughs> or does Bo-Katan train him to become the, the man king. of war? Maybe he's the true. Maybe maybe she takes it as this. Well, just because I have a bloodline to the thing, maybe he is the true Mandalore. King of Mandalore. But he doesn't want all that. He doesn't care. But that's what makes him the best, best king. king. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. And also think about all the attributes that he's shown. Yes, was he less honorable? But he showed so many other good virtues by saving that kid. He did anything. He went against his most sacred oath to he himself. He did that in the first twice, season, twice for this boy. And it's not even his blood relative. Nothing. But he loved him so much, he was willing to do anything. Mm-hmm. Anything. Yep. Anything. Oh my God, I love this effing show. So we're sitting here, and normally during the credits, they have really cool art, but there's no art. And this is like playing like a somber version of like the theme song. And we're watching this, and I'm like, oh my God, what was that? Yeah. We're, we're almost like, we got to watch the end He's of getting more. But there's something, because they're, they're not showing the art. Something's different here, so we're going to keep watching. We watch it, and then you see... Freaking like Tatooine. Yeah, the two sons. The two sons. I'm like, okay, well, okay. Well, here we go, baby. Get yeah, some more yeah, stuff here. Like, I'm like, is it going to be Lucas? What is it going to be? The... And then we kind of see the job of the Hutt's palace. 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 Remember the second in command guy? He's the new hut. And he's gotten he's fat. fat. Yeah, he's starting to turn into a hut. <laughs> yeah, he's like all big and. <laughs> like, you know, he can't hear <laughs> what he's saying. And he has his, 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 tw- his twelve slave. And we, we hear, we go, pew, pew. Oh, okay. Well, someone's getting killed, and then a couple of the guards go up there, and then he gets killed. And we see the the sniper girl. Like, oh. Okay, whatever. And she's walking down. Then we see the silhouette of Boba Fett. Right. He's like, he walks into the room. He goes like, Oh, Boba! Hey, what, what happened? He goes, Lovely boobies. Yeah. <laughs> What's going well, on? Boba, my buddy. I thought yeah, she's a dead. dead. Yeah. I heard rumors, and poof, he just takes him out. Wow. Pushes him out of the chair. I'm like. Boba sits in the chair. Check. Fucking Boba the Hutt, baby. The He's Hutt. a pimp now, dude. He's a gangster. It's Boba the Hutt. I love it. That's the best progression that he could have went. He sits in there like the pimp of the freaking desert. Yeah, who cares about your stupid planet? I just want to be this. I don't care about being Mandalore. You can have it. Yep. Now he's going to... Think about it. He's, he's good enough to probably rule Look Tatooine. Look at that. Yeah. His, his homegirl hitting the freaking swiggy wine. He's sitting in the chair like freaking King Leonidas. Oh, that's so, <laughs> so he So he rules the, the, the hut system thing. It's his now. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that domain. I know it's split up more because of the fracture. The book of Boba Fett. Ooh. December 2021. So did they literally mean a book? Or he's going to have This is the Boba Fett show, which wasn't mentioned in all those other shows. Because they maybe were keeping it as a spoiler. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Remember when they said there was too many of the ones in the previous videos? No, I would want a Just this one, not this one too. Yeah. But um, holy McBalls, that was freaking amazing. Yes. And also... And it's the... I don't know how I'm saying the way Luke went out in the movies was so stupid. I wanted Terrible. To pu- I wanted to punch everyone in the Why movie Why couldn't he go out like here? Like this, just being amazing. That, that's what he should... I honestly thought in that last battle, the next one was going to show up and he was going to be beating those walkers literally with the force, like picking them up and slamming them around. That'd and cool. then fighting uh, 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 Kylo Ren and just like whooping his like ass. Like a joke. Like Making a it, he's like, oh, you, you're not even close to a master. And but then, now I'm just an invisible thingy and I just disappear into the force. What the hell was that? I don't know. No, he didn't. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> or he's on his X when he jumps off of it and he's just like destroying those friggin' walkers. Chopping like him in half. half. <laughs> Spinning around, flipping around. Yeah, give me that. But what you, is this? But they, they did... This is what we wanted. Yes. Not that stupid shit. They did service. Well, God, they, they, they redeemed Luke's last battle. They redeemed it a little bit. They, yeah, did. they did. You notice how he's standing just like he did in uh, Return of the Jedi yeah. when he was standing with his father? Oh. And that, that stoic shoulders back, arms down. I'm going to tell you, I know a lot of uh, old Star Wars fans are like, the fact he's wearing all black and the black leather glove. They love that. They That's love the look it. they love. Return the, the Jedi, Jedi look. look. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Fucking awesome. pimp of space. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, like you said, now that is a master. That, that, that's one you don't want to mess with. That's one guy you don't want to mess with. But that was sick. What yeah. an amazing series. Thank you. I am glad. What a time to be alive. What a the time. To be a Star Wars fan. Hey, yeah. See, I, was, I wasn't I was young enough to see the original movies, but I did see the re-releases. 
And I remember watching those in theaters and reading the books and playing the games and going through the highs and the lows and back to the highs. What an amazing life I have lived to, to be, to have this, to go down so low with the new trilogy, just to be put onto a skyrocket to the freaking sky mm-hmm. with the Mandalorian. Oh, I remember watching the first uh, Star Wars movie when it came out in the you know seventies. You know, I watched a couple years. I was like little. I was like four or five years old. But it was, they didn't even have the, the the New Hope. It was just Star Wars then. That was before the title. And I was like, to see Luke now and see him get his justice. It's like yes, yes, yes. This is Luke. This is the continuation that I wanted. And um, the return and redemption of Boba Fett. Yeah. Being what he should have been, which is a warlord of badassness well, and freaking the hut. George Lucas is apologizing because I didn't know he was that popular. I wouldn't have killed him off like that or tried to. It's so flipping cool. Yeah. But we will make a video about what we want to see next time, what we want to see with Boba Fett and everything. And man, the, bless you, Dave Filoni. Bless you, John Farrio. Yes. Man, thank you for giving Star Wars back to the people. Yeah. From the statue of this, this won't get any awards. No. No, no not won't get that out of pity. It's ridiculous. Where Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan freaking Roundhead Johnson, I'm going to get this is my story to tell. It's the, this is the people's story. This See, there's certain things that, that transcend the creator themselves, and you have to realize, oh my God, this is for them. Yep. Not for me to, to, to piss all over your story. It is the. Keep the, to keep the train rolling and not to go, are, I'm going to go left when it's said to go right. I know this is an overused word, but you're a gatekeeper when you're writing Star Wars. You're a gatekeeper. Yeah, you you're a steward. The, sorry, steward. steward of it. A st- again, you never sit in the throne forever. You're just a steward for the next guy. And you don't freaking light the, the, light the kingdom on fire. Here you go, buddy. It's yours. Well, you, it, you don't do that. I, no. You don't leave your mark by scorching the earth. Yeah. And being like, well, no one will ever forget this. Well, yeah, because you destroyed yeah. everything. Don't, don't be a Nero. Yes. Yeah, exactly. The only thing I know. Burning, don't burn, burn, don't Rome, 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 burn Rome to the ground. He was famous, though. You remember him, right? Yeah. yeah. He yeah. subverted your expectations. Yeah, but that takes more did. than that. But the thing is, though, all they did in the movie was to put the fire out. They didn't stop it. They just turned the fire out. So now you still have a burnt house. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, you still but, burnt but you it. you can knock it down and put, plant new things. Yeah. Yes. So, Please let them take over the movies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, but do you even want a season three with that Grogu? Grogu's um, going to be in it. He, I, I feel like he, he is. Maybe the might maybe split the time, him training with Luke. No, all I want That'd is. Be cool. I saw cool. Mando doing his thing. He's helping them save Mandalore, and then you see like Grogu comes back, and he's he has a lightsaber, and he's flipping around, and he's fighting with Mando. I want Grogu to get a little bit older now. Let him grow a little, little bit, a little, little bit, little bit. The thing is, but Yoda wasn't much bigger than you. Yeah, but Grogu's like this. Yeah, Yoda's at least about three feet. Grogu's like about a foot. <laughs> Um, I would love that. I would love him to join the Battle of Mandalore. He's all he's all grown. He takes his eyes ever out. <laughs> he's all, oh yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, no, I know it's not really important. What color does he pick? Does he go with the blue, green? Ooh, that'd be super cool. It's gonna be purple. That'd be uh, different. No, so you get a gold one. So you can be like a whatever the Centurions oh, or whatever yeah. the other were. It's like it's oh God, Ray. Ray. And then then then, then, then they have another episode of talking. Like wow, yeah, it turned out to be a good Jedi. Guess Luke was the one to build. The There's a super funny meme. Remember in the last episode when the guy asked him for his name and he couldn't even think of a fake name? And then Bill's like, oh, he's called him Brown Eyes. And he's like, oh, so what's your name, Brown Eyes? Brown Eyes what? Brown Eyes Skywalker. <laughs> I didn't say that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that was the stupid uh, Rise Skywalker. That's a race. Yeah. I just, race Skywalker. Skywalker. just took the name, you stupid out. Oh, yeah, God. Don't get me started. I just forgot. I saw that movie one. one time, and I want to see it again. It was, oh, my gosh. But uh, thank you. This was so much fun. Yes. Oh, well, my gosh. This series was great. Beginning to end was great. I can't wait until next year around this time so we can get the rest of the series, season three. Oh, man. But stay tuned, guys. We're going to definitely make a what we want to see, theories, ideas, thoughts for the next uh, series. But, man. I just went, yep, because that round of applause because that was just so Beautiful. much fun. Beautiful. That's what we wanted.